Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and I am so glad you guys are here. If you are in need of some cleaning motivation, you have come to the right place because my house was a complete disaster and I was going to be cleaning everything. I'm going to be sharing with you guys six hours of cleaning that I did. I want you to clean with me and let's get our entire houses clean. So as you guys can see, my house was pretty messy. I had cleaned out the pantry earlier in the day and so there were boxes on the floor that I had removed from there and we were just living our lives throughout the weekend and things have gotten out of hand. There was dog hair everywhere and I had finally had enough. So it was nearing the end of the day and I wanted to clean up the kitchen. I wanted to clean the basement and living room. And then I was going to clean the entire upstairs the next morning. So if you guys need some cl kitchen cleaning motivation, if you need some bathroom cleaning motivation, whatever room you need to clean in your house, you're going to find it here because I am cleaning everything. I do want to mention that today's video is a collaboration with Amy Darley. And if you guys don't already know her channel, I would be shocked. We have gotten so close lately and we've been chatting every single week. And I am so grateful and glad to have her as a friend. I could go on and on about how great Amy's cleaning videos are, how motivating they are, how beautiful her house is because it is. But that would just take away from talking about who she is as a person. And that's what really matters. I recently was watching one of her cleaning videos for some motivation and someone made a comment and said that she is the most genuine YouTuber out there. And that's why they like watching her videos. And that comment could be, couldn't be more truthful. I love Amy and the person she is. She is motivating, she's inspiring. She lives in Georgia with her two adorable kids and her husband, and you guys need to head on over to her channel. Go check her out. You guys need to subscribe. So it, everything, her video, her channel will be down below. If you guys are coming over from Amy's channel, I just want to say hi. I'm so glad you guys are checking out my video. I make cleaning videos every single week. I am a mom of three girls, so a new mom of three kids, two of which are twin babies. They are almost six months. And so I went from being a mom of one to three kids, and I'm just trying to find my way with all three of them and just trying to figure out my new routines. So you better believe there is a lot of cleaning that needs to be done every single week here in my house. So I would love to have you guys subscribe and join me on this crazy journey of mine. And if you guys are new here and you're coming over from Amy's channel, please, please say hi down below in the comment section and let me know what your name is and where you're from. I love to get to know you guys. So I know Amy likes to do a lot of this or that on her videos and since I'm collaborating with her, I'm going to do the same. So I just cleaned my coffee pot. Are you guys a coffee or a tea person or maybe you're both? I prefer coffee. I love my coffee in the morning and I just drink it black but my husband loves tea. So let me know. Coffee or tea? My tongue is like a wall keeping words safe in my heart. I can never say that. 
So originally I had not planned on cleaning the trash area, but you guys can see how gross it had gotten. And I didn't even know that there was garbage under in that cabinet. So it must have gotten in there when we have shoved trash in the garbage can and it had fallen through. And I had no idea how bad it had gotten. So when I went to throw some things away, I knew I needed to scrub it out and clean everything out. So I just used a cleaner that I whipped up myself. It's one fourth cup of rubbing alcohol a teaspoon of dish soap and water and it's kind of a multi-surface disinfecting spray that I mix up myself but can you guys see how many crumbs and stuff was under that cabinet it's just so crazy to me and you guys have told me that you like seeing when my house is actually dirty and messy so this is one of those real life things that even though I enjoy cleaning and I try to keep up with it there are clearly things that get out of control and out of hand and this is one of those things so i was happy to tackle this today if you guys need more cleaning motivation i'm going to link my cleaning video playlist down below so whenever you need to clean all you have to do is put my playlist on your tv or on your phone and i will always be cleaning with you i have plenty of cleaning videos from the past year or two so go check it out when you need some extra motivation I love this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser for my stove and then I also use it on my stainless steel sink. I will have it linked below if you guys want to check it out but it's one of my top products from Grove Collaborative and right now they have a deal going on but if you spend $20 you can get a free gift set and that includes some of their fall scented products which I am loving their acorn spice cleaner. That's what I'm pretty much using on my countertops and other places while I clean in this video but I I love the scent, so go check it out. I know it may not seem like much, but if you could go ahead and give me a thumbs up, it helps me tremendously. It lets me know that you guys like this video as well as YouTube, so please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I like to connect with you guys on a more personal level. You guys can message me. We can chat. So go over. It's jamielins.journey. Go over and follow me and say hi to me. Didn't know I missed this passion in life. Now I'm addicted. So now let me tell you why. What is up with your smile? It's impossible. Not melting. Irresistible. When I look through your eyes. So this is a new product that I recently started using and they are the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Sheets and they are great for cleaning all over your house and I wrap these around a butter knife to get into the cracks of my sink and if you guys have a stainless steel sink like this you probably have stuff that gets stuck in the crack between the countertop and the sink and I like to do this because the Magic Eraser kind of just gives a little bit of more power and getting everything out that gets stuck in between that little crack area and I like using these sheets all over my house. I like using them on my stove top, my bathroom, and my baseboards. They are just a good product to have in my cleaning arsenal. I'm a butterfly who has only begun. Taking me a while to get it. Had to live and cry to appreciate life. And what you give is worth it. When you're holding me and when you hold me so close. Someone further in under your skin. Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure that you remember what's been. I used to be satisfied. So to clean my floors, I use a variety of products, but tonight I'm using the Bona Floor Cleaner. It's a wood floor cleaner, but I also like using the Method Almond Wood Floor Cleaner. It really smells amazing. The Bona doesn't really have a smell, but it does a really good job actually cleaning the floors. And honestly, I feel like they both do a phenomenal job on my wood floors. And I just like to switch it up a little bit because I kind of get bored using the same products over and over, but I can't sing the praises enough of both of these. 
they are so great and then the o cedar spin mop is just a wonderful mop i use a shark steam mop throughout my house sometimes but i think the o cedar spin mop does just a better job and when i really need to deep clean my floors this is the mop that i go to So I grabbed my daughter Avery and we went downstairs to start cleaning up the basement. And if you guys aren't new to my channel, then you know that this basement gets pretty messy, pretty pretty crazy with the toys and this is not new to you but we keep a majority of our toys down there and it does get pretty messy from time to time so i will bring her down because she makes most of the mess and we like to start cleaning and i'll be honest with you guys i'm the main one who starts cleaning but i have to try to keep her on task she likes to you know dress up put on her princess dresses or her mini mouse ears or go down the slide so a lot of it is me keeping her on task but i know that it's good for her to learn how to clean up okay so for another this or that okay for okay so for another this or that question we watch a lot of our movies in our basement but i'll be honest with you we're more of like a netflix tv show people than actual movie watchers so are you more of a tv show do you like watching tv shows or do you like watching movies so let me know, know down below tv shows or movies You guys are gonna totally laugh at me. I started vacuuming in our basement and I love vacuuming down here because you can really see those vacuum lines, which I love. Um, but you will see here in a second, I'm vacuuming and then suddenly I stop and I run away. And that's because I found a spider and I hate spiders. They absolutely freak, freak me out. So I had to have my husband come down and kill the spider. And I was just so done after that. I was not going down there again. So I didn't end up completely vacuuming the basement. I had him do it for me because the spiders freaked me out. But do you guys like spiders? They kind of freak you out. I've always been scared of spiders. And then for the last part of this cleaning session, at least for today, before I moved on to the upstairs tomorrow, I wanted to tackle the living room. I feel like we have so much random things in our house now that we have two babies and it, there's just so much more stuff in general in our house. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but our ottoman is falling apart. The leather, especially if you look on the corners, has been coming off for a while. And we are really in desperate need of new furniture here in our living room. So we've been kind of holding off to decide what furniture we're gonna get before we get a new ottoman or table there in the living room. So I don't know, like it just looks so bad and it's like driving me crazy because more leather keeps falling off. We've had this for so long, but I know you guys don't care. My house doesn't need to be perfect for you guys. And then the last thing that I had to do for the night was vacuum. And after I show you guys pictures of my clean house, I'm going to show you what I was able to pick up in my vacuum. You guys said you guys like seeing the before and the after and everything my vacuum picks up when I vacuum the house. So I'm going to show you guys. It's kind of crazy and pretty satisfying when I see what I'm able to vacuum up. Lost and we parted. Back to back we would carry on then. Do anything for what we 
And here is my yummy Santa Fe chicken that I made that I'm going to meal prep for this upcoming week. And it just is so easy to pull out of the fridge and the freezer, whatever I decide to throw it in for a quick weeknight dinner. And if you guys want the recipe, that will be down below. The next day I had planned on tackling the entire upstairs and it was just nice to wake up, feel refreshed and ready to clean the upstairs and have more energy. So I kind of like breaking it up into two days and this is what I've been doing lately. And if you guys are still here, thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you're cleaning along with me. So I got started in our master bedroom, but then I wanted to throw in some laundry and then I realized that the girls would have to nap soon. So instead of starting out in the master bedroom, I wanted to go in and clean both of their rooms so they could go down for a nap. And so typically Avery will help me clean her bedroom, but she had actually cleaned it the, the day before. She had surprised me and told me that she cleaned her room for me and it was not how I would prefer it to be cleaned, but that's okay because she still cleaned it, which I was proud of her for doing. And she had played later last night in her room, so the room wasn't as clean. So I just went in, she wasn't home, and I just wanted to get it clean before she got home and needed to go down for a nap. Don't forget to stick around because I have a really cool cleaning product that I want to share with you guys that has made cleaning my bathroom so much easier. Then I moved on to Addison and Emery's room. There's not much to do in their room when it comes to cleaning it because we don't spend a lot of time in there, but I just wanted to wipe down their dresser since that's where we, you know, change their diapers and spend most of their time after their baths. And I wanted to also switch out their bed sheets. Then it was time to move on to Avery, Addison, and Emery's bathroom. And I just wanted to clear everything up after we had baths the night before, wipe everything down, and mop in there. For something better, wait a second. I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head. Maybe stay this is one of my favorite bathroom cleaners ever. It's the Lysol Hydrogen Peroxide Cleaner.
I also wanted to quickly wipe down the area around the bathtub. I feel like this area by the bathtub gets pretty dirty and dusty because Avery, especially when she's taking a bath, will splash all over. I don't know if you guys have this issue with your kids, but she splashes and gets water outside of the tub sometimes and then so then the dirt and the dust tends to stick there more than the other areas of the bath so i wanted to wipe that down with a damp rag Then I moved on to the hallway in the upstairs and I get a lot of questions on this Dyson cordless vacuum and how long it holds a charge. And it really just depends. I can usually get one floor fully clean. So like the downstairs or the upstairs, but what I've learned is when I'm cleaning upstairs, I'll bring the charger upstairs with me and charge it in between the rooms that I'm cleaning or vacuuming and that for the most part not always you'll see here in a minute depends on how much i'm actually vacuuming for the most part it will kind of keep it charged so i can clean vacuum everything um to, today that wasn't the case but for the most part i can get one floor vacuumed Finally, I was able to move on to the master bedroom and bathroom and to dust. I'm using the Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice, which I talked about before and is my absolute favorite. And I feel like I'm just repeating myself because I keep talking about this, but I love it. I love the smell. I think it does a really good job of cleaning and it's just an all around good fall scented cleaner for my house. And then while I was vacuuming, I ran out of battery with my Dyson as I was sitting here talking about how it usually holds a charge for one floor, I ran out of battery. So I just got out my old trusty Dyson. It's super heavy, but it does a good job. So I pulled that out and I was able to finish the job. All right, so let's finish up with the last this or that question. I had my dry shampoo sitting out on my counter in my bathroom and I use that and my hair is pretty straight. So do you guys have curly or straight hair? Do you prefer curly hair? Do you prefer straight hair? I personally like that my hair is straight, but sometimes I, you know, I wish I could do my hair a little bit more curly. It will not hold a curl. It has to be super dirty, which I know may be a little bit gross. But my hair has to be super dirty and I have to put a lot of texturizing sprays and products in my hair to even hold a product for a few or hold a curl for a few hours. I know that sounds ridiculous because my hair is that straight. However, it is nice that for the most part, if I wear my hair straight, which I do most of the time, I don't have to do much for it. Like I can literally just wash my hair and dry it and I'm ready to go. So I guess I would prefer that my hair is straight, which it is. So do you guys prefer your hair to be straight or curly? And let me know what yours is and what you like it, how you like to style it. You use it.
Cleaning my master shower is probably my least favorite cleaning task ever. I hate it. I think because it's enclosed and then I just have to bend over and maneuver myself in so many different ways to get it clean, I dread it. I hate it. But it needs to be clean, so I just sprayed it down with my Clorox bathroom cleaner that I have in the room, the bathroom. I let it sit for a couple minutes and then I wipe it down. So it's super important to let your cleaning product sit for a while. It kind of does a little bit of the work for you and then it doesn't take as long to wipe it all down. So I pretty much have to vacuum my master bathroom all of the time a couple times a week and nowadays because of that postpartum hair loss. If you guys are moms, if you've, you know, well, I guess if you're a mom, you've had kids, but you guys know what I'm talking about with this postpartum hair loss. It's ridiculous and I have been vacuuming a lot lately. A drum machine arose within a gun and a velvet dream. The heart of us so babe cannot be So now I'm going to share a game changing cleaning hack with you that I've been using for a while. I featured this recently on my channel and everyone loved it so much. So I wanted to feature it again. If you guys are new here, I use this Rainex glass cleaner for my shower doors and it keeps them cleaner longer and it actually cleans them. Cleans the glass door. It shines them and they look wonderful. So go out and get you some Rainex glass cleaner to keep your shower cleaner longer. And you can even use it on your shower walls. And then to round out this cleaning video, I had to fold some laundry because there is always laundry to be done with three kids, especially with two babies. So I ended up folding everything and then as soon as I was done, I put it all away because that's what I like to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it motivating. Please, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And if you're still here, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I just, I can't thank you enough for being a part of Jamie's journey. And I can't wait to see you guys again in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at jamielins.journey. Come over and say hi.